No. Um, hey, what's up, guys? Ernie from Redefine the Grind. We're just up here with the Redefine the Grind cookbook, getting ready to show you guys how to make some awesome recipes. So stay tuned, check it out. I ain't bitter, I'll probably drop it anyway I'm flowing like the Allegheny Sun up till I hit the hay Looming like a spinning Jenny Harder than a Kumite And when I'm in a What's up grinders, we're just up here Showing you how to make some guacamole Um, not gonna lie I kind of lifted this recipe from a popular food chain Should we tell them? Is it Chipotle? It's Chipotle! Chipotle! Stole it Um, basically the ingredients You're gonna need a lime Some avocado a couple of jalapenos. I probably only use one, honestly, but they look good in pairs. Purple onion, some salt. That's it. And I prefer kosher salt. We didn't have any on hand today, so we're just using regular table salt, iodized. Calcify that pine of lamb. So first, let's get some stuff out of the way. Make us and go. Just a little bit of salt. You know why? What is that? All right. Because um, this is the, the grind tip number one. Um, oftentimes for me, I used to never eat raw onion because it's overbearing. And that's kind of a lot to put some guac, right? Yeah. That's what I think for two avocado guac. It is kind of strong, especially because it's so purple. Let's do this. We'll half it and then we'll put it in here and like blanch it. Hmm. Interesting. And the salt, water, and the ice really tame. They tame it. But then you gotta like filter it out. But it tames it, I promise. Perfect. There you go. Salty yeah. ice water onions. Sick. Normally what I do is uh, roll the avocado through the knife. That way you get a straight line twist. Then I take this pit out like that. You can usually just pop it out on the knife, but if it doesn't, it rolls out pretty easily. And because we're mashing these up, we got two of them to go. Um, you don't have to be super fancy or technical or anything. So, I just squeeze them out like this. We're gonna take this out of here and get this onion out of the ice. And some people like really strong onion flavor. If you do, you can use straight onion. But I don't like super strong onion flavor and that really helps to attenuate it, like I said, and we'll just throw that in there. And then we wanna get the jalapenos. Don't rub your eyes. Don't rub your eyes. Do not take your contacts out. <laughs> Terrible decision, did it. Makes you feel like you want to tear your eyes out. Then, <laughs> we got the salt. Is that your bowl? Your peppercorn medley. Peppercorn medley. Yeah. Just some of that in there. Love it. Now, you can do several different ways. Sometimes I use, if the avocado is a little under, and it's like kind of firm, it's not really ripe, but it's all you have. I use a potato masher. These are pretty ripe, so I would use a fork. I think it's easier. Just use the tool for the job. I like rough, like, do you like rough organic guacamole? Or mm -hmm. do you like it to be smooth? No, I like it rougher. Yeah, that's how I chunks and stuff. Like the stuff at Taco Bell is disgusting. Yeah. Have you had it? It's like paste. Yes. Um, so we're going to optimize our video so people can find it, yeah, yeah. and we're going to call it Chipotle Guacamole. This is literally a Chipotle clone. All right, guys. So we're going to taste it. Uh, something that Ernie mentioned that's really important that sorry, you may have missed during the video is that as you're going along, you really want to taste your food. So we're going to take a taste right here. Right. So my idea was taste it as you go because food is organic it's growing out of the ground mm. it's not mm. all scientifically the same thing every time so good amount of salt is it good it's good actually perfect yeah. very good so i mean we made it of course <laughs> of course it's going on the cookbook right. but seriously um what we look at is this is not like chemistry you can't just look at something and bang out a math equation that's why people say food is love there's emotion that goes into it there's thought there's creativity and you need to know how to balance it so you get an avocado you know, it's an organic thing. You don't know, they're not all the same. So you can't just put a list of ingredients and have it be perfect every time. So I really want you to taste your food as you're going along. Yeah, and you know, so something else that you can do if you're kind of afraid to mess up a dish, a lot of times what we'll do is you can take your, you can take your dish and you can portion out like a half and then cut that into quarters, right? And then you can mix it, let's say, 
you think it needs more salt or you think it needs a little bit more jalapeno, you can mix that into the quarter and just keep track of how much you threw in. Right. And then if it tastes good, you can add, multiply that times, you know, three more, right, to fill up the meal. Absolutely. But if it tastes bad, then you only messed up a quarter of it. Right. That way you can kind of experiment as you're going, just pull some yeah. aside, add a little bit of whatever you think it needs. Well, that's the other thing. Everybody's tastes are a little different. So at home, this is for home cooks. Like if you were a chef at a restaurant, of course, you're making your recipe. This is your recipe and everybody either love it or hate it. That's fine. Right. But at home, we're trying to please the whole family. Everybody's got different tastes. And Absolutely. Sure. Like maybe maybe you have a kid that doesn't like onions. You, just, you pull a quarter of it out and just don't put onions in it. That's cool. Maybe they don't like onions. Or yeah. you starve them and they'll have to eat it. <laughs> That salt trick really works. What? The salt trick, it works good. Yeah. Like, because it's not even close to. Right. Yeah, it's really bitey. Isn't it terrible, like, without. Yeah. And then you get it in there and it's, like, good. Yeah, it's not nearly as strong. Right. Good? Mm hmm. Right. Exactly. I don't want to stop eating. And you do it straight up, fresh, like, right here in the kitchen, straight to the table. Nothing beats that. Dude, check this out, guys. Look at this. Yeah. Oh yeah. Who doesn't like fresh block? Mm -hmm. I mean, avocados are trending, right? Well, super amazing. Really well, they are. They're a good source of fat. It's a healthy fat. All right, so, so you're gonna pair this with your grilled chicken salad? Oh, so good. We're gonna do that next. So I'll put the chicken in the fridge to do some marinating. We're gonna take that out of the fridge. Cover this stuff here, and we are going to take this chicken marinated in Italian dressing, and we're going to take it out to the grill, grill this up, and we're going to make some grilled chicken salad and enjoy that with our avocados. Actually, we're going to enjoy it with guacamole and chips. All right, dude. All right, put these on here. Grill the chicken. The grill marks. You want to know the grind tip of the day? The grind tip of the day is, I actually have this thing like, I have gas coming out of my house into my grill, so I never run out of gas. So if I forget the chicken on there, it can cook all night and I come out, it'll be like Kennedy's grave. It doesn't matter. Eternal flame. <laughs> Kennedy's grave doesn't matter? No, but my wasting of natural fuels doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so uh, we Look forgot about the chicken. <laughs> no, we didn't forget about it, it looks good. <laughs> So yeah, dude. It's done, though. Yeah, you gotta do it like this, because it's going on salad. And we just got off the grill, looking great. <sighs> Grilled chicken. And I have to cut that up and put it over top of a salad. Um, this time we just got some pre-made salad mix. I got a kale power blend that's got kale, spinach, and carrots in it. Um, you can get whatever you like, it's healthy, but that's what we usually do. But, look at that chicken. Now, the one thing we did do is let it rest. Yeah, it's important to talk about. Yeah, uh, let it rest because otherwise, you're, if you take the meat directly off the heat source and cut it, it will actually lose a lot of its moisture. You don't want it to bleed out. Otherwise, look how moist that is. Perfectly cooked all the way through. A uh, nice hard sear on the outside. And that's what really brings up the flavor of the grill. Where my salad be at? Boom, perfect. Now we're just basically gonna put chicken over the top of it. Uh, let's see, it could have had a better tool. Let's just do the hands. And it's whatever dressing you like. I like to like put it down the middle. It's probably literally, I don't know how much chicken each person wants, but I think that's a huge chicken breast. That's a lot of protein. And that's probably what I would serve somebody. Awesome. I went from sleeping in a minivan to 6,000 square feet Flipped it to the new LeBron's from bare feet And what you know about broke sleeping in your car And you wanna tell me what it's like to grind home